everyone. Sorry about this camera. Why is it showing that? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I know that's so annoying. Huh. There we go. Maybe I will move it to this side. Okay, so sorry about the wiggle, wiggly screen. I'm trying to figure this out here. Whoops. Nope, don't rotate device. Okay. All right, so I think this is what it's going to be. Sorry, you're going to have to see this, my stand right there. Okay, so it looks like we've got some people starting to jump on. Sorry, I'm a little late. I had to take my son to an activity. They um, canceled school again today. And so he got invited with some friends to go play some basketball. And I think he really needed to do that and get out of the house. So I wanted to him to go participate. <coughs> I still have my a little bit of a cough from my cold that I had. Um... It's taken me a while to get over that cold, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy and if I have to I'm cough every once I in a while. A sorry about the echo and here. I have to cough. There we go. I had to figure out how to turn that off. Okay. So I am so excited to be here with you today. We are opening up the January Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's a little bit late. They had some supply issues um with the kit and so it was shipped late and then I honestly I got mine what is today Thursday I think it came late Tuesday and then my kids were out of school yesterday and I thought they would be a little too noisy for me to do a live and I was right they were in and out of everything I mean they were all over the place and then today they got school canceled again and sometimes you just have to move on right so we're doing it live today so that um, we can get this out there. I know many of you probably already have your kit and got it before I did. And so you possibly have already opened it and made the projects, but it's something I like to do with you guys. So might as well do it, even though I kind of have a feeling many of you have already done so. All right, just taping down my grid paper so it doesn't move on me. <coughs> Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> this cold is one of the reasons I haven't done any videos. I had used up all my videos that I had um, prepared um, over the holidays, and so I hadn't put any, like, ready. So once I got my cold, I just had to put everything on hold so that I um, could get over it, and it's just taken me a really long time. So, I'm, again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Lots of people are here. I want to just say hello to everyone. Um, Melanie says, I hope you're, uh, you're feeling better and I am feeling better. I just don't sound necessarily better. Um, let's see. It looks like Tina's had a cold that lasted two weeks. Yeah, I'm definitely past that two week mark. So I'm hoping that everything kind of clears up quickly. Oh, Melanie got her box yesterday, so I am not too late. And so did Michelle. She just got hers, and she's looking forward to those alternative cards. Oh, thank you, Tina. She says, hope you feel better soon. Okay. All right, so with my unboxing, I do like to do a giveaway. So let me get that um, link entered here. Just one second. Um, let's do one week. So today is the third. <coughs> <coughs> it kind of just sneaks up on me. Like I think I'm doing fine and then all of a sudden I have to cough. So, um, the winner will be notified on February 10th, which is in about a week. So you do have a week to, um, enter 
and let me get that code for you. So here is enter to win. It's a one month paper pumpkin subscription code. So it is not for um, this box that you're seeing here. It's for a future box that you can get with that code, okay? And then if you're new to Paper Pumpkin, I would love to have you uh, subscribe through me. And so let me put my link so that you can get the next kit, which is super cute. And you'll want to make sure that you're subscribed by February 10th to get this kit. It's a safari themed kit. So we've got animals and I think it's birthday themed. Yeah, it's like a celebration. So you can get more information when you sign up. Um, they'll kind of give you a sneak peek of it, kind of themed wise. Okay, so I'll put that link here too. All right, so those two links are up there. Cindy, you still have not received yours yet. Hopefully it will show up before uh, Valentine's because that's kind of what the theme is. So we we have a couple weeks before Valentine's. <laughs> so hopefully it will show up. All right, so here is the kit. There is a... Um, a like extra kit that's available. So it's the Kisses and Hugs mini treat box and it coordinates with this kit. So if you want to make <laughs> some treat boxes to go with it, then um, you can order this. Um, it does not give you an order number, but you could scan this code if you went in your kit, okay? And then this is a sneak peek into February's and you can also scan this code to get a sneak peek um, and again they're telling us that it's um, kind of safari themed okay not a lot of a it doesn't really show you much from that one so then here is the stamps that come in the kit I do love the large X and O I think that's cute and then some really good um, little words to go with it so love you for you friend this cute heart a little heart in an arrow some little splatter circle things sending you love and more so that's cute so honestly I haven't seen too much out there on the internet for this kit so I'm kind of gonna be surprised I've seen a couple things here and there, but it didn't really, you know, show me what this kit makes. So I'm excited for that. Oh, I forgot to show you that the stamp and spot is gray granite, which is just a really great neutral color. So that's one thing I like about paper pumpkin kits is that for a really reasonable price, you get a stamp set, an ink spot, and then a fun project to make. And then you're always going to have these products after the, the kit is completed. And so you can really grow your craft supplies with just this really simple kit. And the kits are always um, fun and unique. And um, they're also usually themed. And so you're going to, if you were to say, stay a subscriber for a while, you're going to really have um, a variety of stamp sets and I also have a friend who works at Stampin Up and she told me that they also try to make sure you get different ink colors and so you usually within a year they don't overlap or repeat ink colors oh my goodness these all wanted to come out separately sorry about that maybe I opened that wrong I don't know okay so here are the cards that we're gonna make from this kit it looks like it creates two different cards, and they're trifle cards, which is super cute. They are fun-shaped cards, so they've got, um, when they're all closed together, they make some cute little heart cards, and then you can open them up to show those 
three different um, sections of the card. They do come with an envelope. So let's look inside. Oh, Tina just added that the Kisses and Hugs mini treat boxes, um, and she added the item number in the comments. She says the number is 160147. So thank you so much, Tina. I appreciate that help. Uh, she also says she's excited for the February Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I'm excited for that too. So inside this... <laughs> Inside is the are the instructions to the kit. So we'll, we'll use those to um, make our cards. Before we begin, let's go ahead and see what products are inside. So we get these really cute vellum hearts. And if you know me, I am a sucker for vellum. So I love those. Those will be fun to create with. We get our adhesive dots. We have these really cute, oh, sorry for the bump. We get this cute little square with um, a gold foil heart in the center. Uh, we get some sequins. These look like iridescent sequins here. And then some die cuts shapes. So we've got pinks, hearts, different sizes, an arrow. We also have some gold foiled hearts, a couple of those, probably use those on all the cards. And then we've got some dimensionals here, they kind of are the mini size. We have our envelopes and they are all the same and they have this gold foiling, <coughs> sorry, this gold foiling on the inside, so that's fun. And then here are the card bases. So we have two different styles. So this pink one with the gold foiling XO on them. That's the front. And then that full, I'm guessing that's the front. Yeah. And this folds over like that. And so then when you open it, you have the gold. Oh, maybe it's trifold like this. There we no. We'll have to look at the directions here. I don't know how this is folded. And then this one here. This one is like a very vanilla color with the gold foiling. And I love that cute polka dot and the stripes. It's really cute. All right. Well, let's start and look at how we fold that. I'm surprised that confused me. <laughs> but I guess it's possible. Let's look at it. Okay, so if this is the front of the card here, because that's how they have it. So that's the front. Oh, I wonder if it folds like that. Okay, so it's more of like a zigzag, a Z fold. So then it opens like this instead of opening like that. Okay, so it's a, a Z fold open card, which makes more sense because you don't want to fold it in on the other heart so there we go. Glad I figured that one out. Kim says fold with left heart on top. Yep. Just like that. So it's a Z fold. Okay. Let's do the same thing here. I think the part that confused me was that it was already folded and it was folded wrong. So you're going to fold this first one down. So the left one goes down over the white and then this polka dot one gets folded on top of like that. Okay. So if you got it like this, you're going to flip it over and fold the stripe one over and then the back one under. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's first open up our ink spot. Tina says, when your head's all stuffy, it's hard to concentrate. I agree. And honestly, I haven't been sleeping very well either the last couple of weeks because I'll wake up and not be able to breathe. So I think sleeping part is the worst part of it all. Okay, so when I open up my ink spots, I like to just open from one side. So I'll carefully take my paper snips and slit that sticker right in half and then I leave the sticker on the other side 
so then I don't ever get confused as to what color is which. <coughs> All right, I do need to grab some clear blocks for my inks. When you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, your very first kit includes a clear block. And it's a nice thin block like this. It's perfect for, um, you know, taking your crafting supplies somewhere. Um, so for transportation type things. Um, but the regular Stampin' Up! blocks are thicker and they have like a, a good grip on them. Let me show you what they look like. And then, so if you want to upgrade your clear block then you can get this. But you see how there's like a finger hold here? There's like a groove. So I love, I like using these as well. They kind of keep my fingers out of the ink too. All right. So it says we're gonna stamp our friend and for you. Um, you're welcome. I just got a message from the Bling Bling Crafter. She says she hasn't seen this paper pumpkin kit, so she's excited to see it. And um, especially since I'm, I've got a cold, so you're welcome. I want to be here for you guys. I know it's fun to get together and craft together. And so it's been hard for me not to be able to do that. So we are going to need one of the gold hearts. Sorry if you can hear my grills in the background. Okay, and then so these two are the pieces we need and we're gonna stamp on these two. Melanie says that she slits her ink spots in half too, just like we did. And then she uses a rubber band to hold them closed. That's a good idea. Then you know that they're not um, losing any moisture. Okay. All right, so. Let's go ahead and ink this up. Now, remember, you may want to do a test on these because the ink sometimes puddles together. Whoops, so grab a scratch piece of paper and just ink it. So do you see how it's a little bit, um, doesn't come out quite nice and crisp like we like? Um, you may want to just clean your stamps just a little bit. <coughs> so I do that with my uh, Simply Chamois. And you're just cleaning them to remove any film or something that might be on them. And then we'll try again and see if that helped. We just want our words, especially, to be nice and crisp when we stamp them. Okay, so they feel like that looks a lot better. So we're gonna do friend in the heart, in the center. Oh, it still kind of had an issue. Hopefully it will kind of clean up a little bit. And then we have for you underneath on our square. So those are the things we're stamping. This card will come together really quickly. There's not too much, there's lots of parts, but it's, oh, okay. And then we use another gold heart as a, like our greeting so that we can write a little message. So we, looks like we put dimensionals on the back of some of these. Let's start with friend. Oh, is there another one? Hmm, hold up. I'm going to look at the picture here. Oh, those are sequins. Okay. I was like, what's underneath friend? But they're sequins. I don't love the way this stamped. Do you guys see how it's kind of like blurry a little bit? 
So there is another trick that you can do. Um, you can use your Versamark ink if you have it. That's kind of a sticky ink and it will hold on to other inks. So you would stamp first in Versamark and then you would stamp. Um, so you don't actually stamp. You ink up in Versamark and then you ink up in your other color and the, this will hold on to the stamp better because the Versamark holds it. So, so if you if you're finding you're having issues like that, that's another tip. I'll I'll kind of show you what I mean. So then you're going to grab one of the arrows, and you can put that. They have it nice and straight across. If you wanted to, you could probably go at an angle. So that's up to you. Um, they also added it with dimensionals. I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of my arrow first. I think I'm going to do just a slight angle. Then I don't have to worry about it being totally straight. And then they say to put the dimensionals on the top and bottom of your square. And that way the the line of the arrow can sit right there in the center. Okay, so there's that. And then this is your greeting. So you're gonna leave this one blank. Um, you may wanna write on it before <laughs> you add it to your card, but that's up to you. And that goes in the center. And then they do add some dimensionals. Not dimensionals, I'm sorry, sequins. So they placed these. There are three underneath the word friend. Okay, I can't handle that friend. I know maybe for you... It, you just can't see it, but I can't. So I'm going to try to cover it up with something. I'm gonna use some of this here. I'll be right back, I'm gonna grab my Versamark. Okay. Um, Clean it first so that I don't get ink on my Versamark. Then I'm going to ink up on Versamark. So you see how I'm inking this? Then you don't stamp, but you take your next color and you ink over the Versamark and it will hold it in place. And then you can stamp it. Oh my goodness, it's still stamping like that. Hmm. I'm going to try it again. So I have heard of some people taking an eraser. Should we try that one? Okay, so I'm just going to take an eraser. I'm just going to erase, kind of add over that. Then I'm going to clean it. Okay. I'm going to try, well, let's just see the ink if that works. I'm going to try it on my scratch paper. Okay, that's working a little better. Okay. I'm going to try stamping it right there. Maybe it's the paper.
Yeah, Sandy says she uses a white eraser and run it in a new stamp. And it stamps perfectly every time. I'm going to grab some paper and see if it is the paper. <coughs> and maybe I'm just being too picky here, but it's kind of bothering me. All right, so let's see. Yeah, it might be the paper. So what's happening is it is kind of puddling up and I'm getting like this weird, what do you guys think? That one I thought looked okay, but these other ones, you see how the, it like stamps light and dark in places. This is probably the first time I've ever experienced it where I wasn't like fixed it. I couldn't fix it quickly. Oh, Cindy just got her paper pumpkin, like literally just now. That's awesome, Cindy. Um, Hilda Nell says an old nail file will also work to kind of um, rough up this image a little bit. I'm going to try this one again. You guys are really great at your giving me some ideas. Okay, well, I think we're getting there. It's getting a little better. I'm going to try another piece of paper. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't. I can't say that I'm loving it. Is that better, though, than my first one? Yeah, I think it's better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim out this word friend and then I'm going to pop it up right over that one. Let me find my paper trimmer. Okay. probably pop out this heart. At first I was like, oh, I'll just stop before I get there. But yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and try one last time. <laughs> you guys, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Now that's not going to look straight. Okay, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to put it right there. <coughs> okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you're not here to watch me try to perfect this card. All right, so we're just going to... Well, actually, now I realize I just stamped that. That's not straight. Okay, let's just stick it on. We're just going to move forward. <clears throat> and then we'll get our sequins out. Now they have the sequins going in a row underneath. Kind of like that. Okay. And then they also added sequins here to the center one. They placed one up at the top 
and then a couple down at the bottom like that okay so that one's done finally <coughs> I do like how having that one popped up a little bit gives it a little more interest. I might come back and redo that. Um, I have a feeling that I want it to be on a different color. So maybe something a little more bold to kind of have that pop. But I love this one. That one's really cute. And I love the stripes on that one. It's really, really fun card. <coughs> okay, let's move on to card number two. So this one is the vanilla card, and we're going to use the vellum and the pink hearts for this one. We do need to stamp on the pink hearts, and we're going to do for you, and then the arrow. Okay. So we need a vellum piece, and then this is the for you, goes on there. And then we've got another gold heart, and that goes on the inside of this one. And we are stamping uh, the arrow on that. So let's do for you on this one while we've got that on our clear block still. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these tricks to it. So I'm going to use the eraser and try to clean up that up a little bit. Oh, that's right. I think I think Gail just said to use the something underneath to give the stamps a little cushion. That might be a really good idea. Maybe I'll grab that as an idea to get a better uh, stamped image. Thank you for that idea, Gail. So I do have this uh, foam pad that I could use. All right, so pull out that ink. And we're gonna do for <laughs> we're gonna do for you, and we're just gonna I'm gonna test it here. So that one's looking good. Yeah, okay, that one's good. So I'm gonna pull in my pink heart, ink it up, and then right in the center, stamp for you. Okay, so it's turning out better now. You guys are so helpful. Thank you so much for all your good ideas. <coughs> so then we have the heart, or not the heart, the arrow here. And then we're going to do love you and more. And I did bring a different clear block in. Okay, so this little arrow can get moved around and not be quite straight. You see how it's super flimsy. So to make sure that it's in the right shape, I just lay it on my table and then pick it up after it's kind of been able to come back to its original shape. I'm going to use this... <laughs> eraser technique here and then clean that sorry for wiggling the camera So this goes on the white heart and I'm going to start with the arrow and I am going to stamp, just do a test on some scratch paper. Okay, that looks pretty good. They have the arrow going to the left. <coughs> right in the center of the heart. 
And then they have Love You and More. Okay. Then I'll remove that so I don't restamp it with my more. Okay. So love you more. So those are all stamped. So they have glue dots on the back of the top hearts. So you can place a couple. They've got four showing. I love my take a pick tool for these glue dots. And that goes right there in the center. And then the light pink heart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Goes in the center of the vellum heart. And then we're going to add dimensionals to the back of each of these. when you add the dimensionals to the vellum, make sure you do it under the uh, solid piece of cardstock so that you don't see the dimensionals through the vellum. So this is the Love You More, and it goes on the polka dot heart. And then the vellum goes on the front. just like that and then we'll add our sequins so couple on the front and then couple on this one too let's see All right, so that one is all done. That comes together really quickly. Now they did also have a stamp on the envelopes. So if you wanna do that, you're gonna grab one of your bright pink envelopes. I think this is like Flirty Flamingo. <laughs> I'll have to double check. Did you know that on the back of your instructions, they tell you what is supposed to be in your kit? just in case you feel like maybe you've forgotten, um, don't have something. Um, and then it tells you what colors it coordinates with. So this is Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Gold, Gray Granite, Very Vanilla, and White. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna use my other block and find my stamps. What did I do with those? Huh. Oh, they fell on the ground. That's why I couldn't find them. So we're going to get the X and the O. You could stamp these separately or you can stamp them on the, together on the same block. So I'm going to line them up with my grid paper. So that I know, let's see, X and then O, right? Yeah. So I know that they're nice and straight. And then you can pick them up off with one clear block like that. <coughs> like that. And I am going to just do a little bit over them just so that I can try and get the best image. 
these um, are pretty solid. So when you have a solid image like this, you want to make sure that the ink goes on nice and smoothly. Uh, Gloria says that she loves the very vanilla ink color. She feels like it makes the cards look very elegant. I think they're it's really pretty too. It's a color I don't use a lot of, the very vanilla. So when I do, I do like it. All right, so I'm just inking up that stamp. And then you just stamp it down in the bottom corner. And you can do it twice. That's what they've done on their... Just like that. <coughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me while we made these two cards today. I love the fun fold of them, and I am excited to um, put together some alternative cards and maybe some other type of projects too to show you some fun ways that you can, some more and fun ways to use the supplies in your paper pumpkin kit. So look for those. Um, I'm going to probably say next week. Um, I'll probably be working on them tomorrow and then video them over the weekend. Hopefully my cold will go away and then those will start up next week um, for those alternatives. So thank you again so much for joining me. I'm sorry for the coughing and for the little extra um, fussiness that we had with that card. Um, just a little bit of my personality coming out and wanting them to look perfect. So um, have a great weekend, and we will um, come. make sure to come back and visit my channel next week for those paper pumpkin alternative ideas. Thanks again for watching. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.